championship. The shoe in Columbus, Ohio is rocking today. A record crowd. But the next stop for the Buckeyes will be the toughest of all. Their arch rivals from Michigan. It's Michigan against Ohio State. That's all you have to say. There is a little bit of a breeze. We'll see how that helps him here. He'll send it on the ground, fielded at the seven-yard line by Maurice Hall. Hall, who will be the starting running back today, ridden out of bounds at the 26. Now Krenzel changes it up against a four-man defensive front, and the Wolverines change their coverage. It'll be Hall, nothing doing. Four-man defensive front again for the Wolverines on that inside handoff, and it does not fool Michigan. Ross has checked in here. Third down. And it's three and out. He's facing an Andy Groom, one of the best in the country. Groom drives it. Curry at the 29-yard line. Dances to the 40. And the Scarlet and Gray. Motion. Edwards. And here comes Perry on the first carry. To the middle. Bounces off the first tackle. Keeps going almost. Wolverine stay with the power game. And Perry for the first down. They could be putting it up here for midfield. And they are. Short drop. Navar. Incomplete. He's a dandy receiver. Lined up as the fullback. They'll run Perry behind him. Slips the first tackle, but Doss comes up hard. Beautiful strike for the first down. Here comes Perry, stretch play to the right. Short of the 30-yard line. He is out to the right of this formation. Here comes the end around. Bellamy bobbles it. And so Reynolds. Navarre. Gets time. Field side. The strike to Bellamy inside the 20-yard line. Navarre is going to put it up on first down. Go in zone. Incomplete. Threw it out of the back. Now second down. And they come back with Perry. It is blown up. And there's that man again, number two. Askew alongside. Navarre to the middle, deflected, incomplete, and it is fourth down. A 36 yard field goal for Finley. Michigan trying to get on the board first. Slips it through for the field goal with a band in the background. The Wolverines come to Columbus and strike first. Folks, in a big game, if it's low scoring, scoring first can be absolutely critical. Timeout. Hi. And as Jim said, I no reason to try and fire up the other team like that. He was pretty hot about it. Here comes Hall now for the Bucks. 15, 20. Down at the 24-yard line. Lydell Ross back in as the tailback. Krenzel's going to throw on first down. It'll be Ross and Jackson, number three, one on the field for the first time in several weeks. One back. Prinzel will throw. Claret missed his block. It's off to Claret. They set the play beautifully. And he is run out of bounds. Prinzel back in the gun. They're going to stay airborne underneath. Jenkins on the flanker screen. Fumble! And I believe number 80, Ryan Hamby. Right. Two wide outs out to the left. Here comes number 13. The hole is there. Jackson steps up. Ross, the tailback, number 30. And whistle before the snap. Okay. Into the snap. Ball start. Offense. Well, Five let's find out more Go first about down. thank you. And Claret's back on the field. Short rest that time. Prinzel stays airborne. Here's Gamble. Could not get to the first down marker. He was wrapped up. Second down and short. Claret to the middle. Slashes free. 30. The difference maker. 20. 15. 
There it is. Look at the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. They know what a difference number 13 brings to this attack. Now it's a first and 10 at the Wolverine 11 for the Buckeyes. Back with the freshman. Not much doing on this carry. Jenkins is to the short of the right side. Krenzel takes off. And the Wolverines are very aware. Krenzel is back in the gun. Krenzel's woozy, Brent. And as a result, yes, I is. think time ran out. Yes, the five yards. Play a game. Offense. Five yard penalty. Hey, he's out Still on his feet down. right here. Third down. Gamble comes in motion. He threw behind the receiver, but interference is called. Ball was clearly behind Jenkins and Lasur. With a pair of tight ends. Here comes Ohio State muscle. Correct for the touchdown. Can he get there? Yes. Jackson could not cut the freshman off. Makes it 7-3. Ohio State leads for the first time. Now watch Corrett. Four carries. 38 yards. One touchdown. For the Bucks to win, he has to stay on the field. Timeout. Lasur and Bracken. Into the end zone. Up. Hole in the middle. That a Woody would have been out there in his shirt sleeves and Bo in his short blue jacket, and they'd have been dueling away. Perry is stuffed here, and now means they show eye power. Askew leads the way. Perry cuts away from the block for the first down. Along with Jopru, the Buckeyes doing a good job of tying Jopru up. Navarre trying to get there, and he finally does. And you know who finished that hit up. <laughs> Second down and short, and here's the power eye for the Wolverines again. Coming right at him with Perry. Difference maker, Doss got over on his ankles, but not before he picked up the first down. You look down on the shoe as the first quarter comes to an end. And it's shaping up like another great Ohio State-Michigan game. 7-3. Back after this message and a word from our ABC station. Here's Perry, slashes across midfield. Ace Edwards is off to his left. Bellamy's down to his right. Here comes Edwards around, they fake it. Perry still got it, gets away from Gamble, but Gamble did enough to trip him up. Three wide now for Michigan. Navarre steps away from the heat, fires a strike. A late substitution for the Wolverines. They get 11 on the field now on first and 10 inside the 40. Here comes Perry Daylight attacking the corner on that side. And the Fox the last man. out right now. So it's a one back ask you play fake. They're going to throw from it. Navarre juggle. Incomplete. That was Edwards. Perry back in at running back for the Wolverines. Perry. Wilhelm and Reynolds make the stop. The ball is on the ground, but I believe it'll be whistled down. Right. Three wide now for the Wolverines. Navarro looks for 80. Got him. Dove for the first down mark, and the headline's been right there. Gives it to him. Askew's offset to the left. They'll run Perry, and Buckeyes were ready. Now second down. Matchup one on one on Dustin Fox up here. Navarre. And it'll be an incomplete pass. Wolverines have to get inside the five yard line for a first down. Buckeyes show blitz, and here they come. Navarre's going to throw it high and out of the end zone. Will attempt a 35 yarder. Made one from 36. He can make it a one point football game. And so Finley, who started the year as the punter, 
and is the third field goal specialist, represents the Wolverine offense. 7 6. It's Ohio State and Michigan. Time out. Bam Childress is back deep with Reese Hall to return this kickoff. Hall from the four. Good return to about the 25 yard line. Lydell Ross, the Buckeye running back, behind Krenzel. Michigan with a five man front as Hobson moves up. Krenzel continues to throw. Good runner on the move. And Jenkins. So Claret back on the field. Gets the call. Trying to sprint out. And Hobson. Hamby is the H back. Krenzel, short drop. Firing to Jenkins as he crosses midfield. Third and three as they cross midfield. Krenzel will take off and try to run for it. And closing the door, Carl Diggs. Fourth down and Groom tries to hang it high. Trying to punt for field position. Doss is going to down it inside the 10. Just let it roll dead right there. Michigan down a point in this game. Perry coming out. Not much doing as Donnie Nicky continuing to operate for the safety spots here in their final game against Michigan. There's Fox making a nice play. There's Askew. Doss. And he. Butler, a third wide out for the Wolverine. It's as Q again. Wilhelm takes him on at the point of attack, short of the 25 yard line as the lone running back. Navarre, the motion receiver. Navarre's short drop. Wilhelm couldn't get there. And they hit Edwards to successful field goals. As Q, Reynolds forces him in on the inside. Second down and seven. Bucks show a four-man front. Base four three. Now they step up into it against Perry, who spins away from the first defender and can staying with the base running game as Q and Doss comes up hard. Japru blocking well at the tight end spot. Now the play fake. Put it up on first down, and he's got Edwards again, and that's gambled. Second down. Perry. See Grant hanging on. Now DeVar faces a first down against this stout D. Here comes Perry. And see Grant over there from his linebacker spot. Second down. Buck show that four man front. Navar fires, juggled in, hung on to by. Can Michigan finish a drive? Draw with Askew. Reynolds, number 44. Donnie Nicky. Navarre running away from it. Slips inside. And Navarre's inside the 10 yard line. The field goal. They will tie that right here. This will be the 16th play on this drive. And Navarre rolling in trouble. Gets a sack. Back at the 15 yard line, Timmy Anderson skews alongside of it. Chapu is the tight end to the right of the formation. Navarre fires, deflected out of the end zone. Into the middle of that offensive line. Start. Oh, wow. Well. You know, um, Brent, when you watch. Again, to the right side of the formation. The Bucks show the nickel blitz. Navarre throws the jump ball. Two great athletes. And Edwards has got it for the touchdown as Gamble goes down on the play. Now we've got a penalty flag. Now, was there offensive pushing down there, yes, Gary? Fingers. That's why there was the delay. Not going to get away with that one in this stadium. Got grabbed the back of his jerseys and flung them down. That is a good call by the official. From the Buckeye 34 yard line, Navarre, middle, complete. To the 25 yard line. And one thing they don't want to do is blow at least a field goal opportunity, you wouldn't think. Navarre, middle, got it to the five yard line. Second half is coming up. 
As Michigan leading by two points. High and short and fielded at the 14 by Lasseur. Alley right side. And he's slammed down. Michigan has not yet punted in this football game. Perry starts off the second half. And he makes his way to second down and seven. Chapru, the H-back, comes to the left side of the formation. And it is to Edwards with Wilhelm on third down. The handoff. And Askew rumbles. Now shifts over a little bit to the left to lead Perry through the hole. Wilhelm, though. The one thing they have to worry about is anything complex for DeAndrea. He did not see a lot of different formations in high school. He's down. Missed only one play. Navarre, pressure hit by Grant, and it's incomplete. And here's the first punt. As Gary was pointing out, we don't <laughs> recognize him without a holder. Of course, he's kicked the field goals, and Finley, a good punter, drives Gamble back to the seven yard line. He gambles on it and picks up a few yards. These guys are probably rusty as they come out here. First down. Here comes the young man. Pull up to daylight. Pedro June can't bring him down. And runs through that first defensive back tackle. Vance is out to the left. Claret slips the corner that time. And it is against Washington State. Michigan expected the pass and they get it. Nickelback went in under fire. On this third down, Vance and Jenkins are the slot men. Prinzo will not get away from the pressure. A return today from the uh, injured list. Set to return. Curry from the 25-yard line. 40, 45, and down. And a first down now for John DeVar. Here comes Perry. Gets to the outside. And he... This is Askew. Slashes. Now a first down for Michigan and Navarre. This movement, that'll cost them five. Fire to the Oops. snap. Ball start. Offense. And five they never went to school, but Go you can see time. what would happen. Uh, chaos would be on the outcome of this football game right now. John Navarre with a play fake to Perry. Stands tall in the pocket. And he missed Bellamy. Three down linemen as the Bucks expect the obvious pass and they'll get it. One to set the screen and he does to Askew. And it is Navarre inside shuttle pass against the three-man rush. Short of the 40-yard line. Buckeyes looking for a spark as Finley. Hunting for the second time this half, and Gamble will let this one roll to the end zone. Will it be down? Beanbag is dropped, but it went on into the end zone. The Buckeyes probably have to change the sequencing of plays as they start off with Claret, who twists and then slips. Is the new freshman record holder, and here he comes. Bounces the play to the outside beautifully to the 40, down at the 43. We're down lineman for the Wolverines. Lazarus is over on Stepanovic and he moved. Snap. Offside. Defense. Lazarus I jumped know, across five yards. We go have the Fighting Irish in Southern Cal out west. Huge game. Here's Maurice Hall to the middle. Penalty flag is thrown. And all of a sudden the Buckeyes get their holding penalty. Michigan. Joe is the fullback to the left of Krenzel. Krenzel wanted Claret on a shuttle pass. The play had been taken away from him. So Krenzel steps out of bounds. And will there be a late flag? On the defense, the penalties will be declined. So we've said that now for just as long as we've watched him this year. I know you've pointed it out several times. Claret maintains his balance, crosses the 40-yard line. Two tight ends in this formation. Here comes number 13, bounces it around Hobson. But he could not stretch out the defense at Krenzel from the gun. It's great time. And then could not hook up with the Buckeyes are 0 for 3 on third down. And this a tough one. Third down and 10. Krenzel couldn't find anybody. He won't get it. 
Try and hang it high and punt for field position here. Shanked. Not the best that I've ever seen Mr. Groom fire up. They're doing a fine, fine job with personnel packages in this game. Navar back to throwing now has Edwards and Gamble. The Wolverines now ball at the 36 yard line. They come back now to Perry. Wilhelm slashed in and made the stop. Eskew offset as the lead back against the four man front as Edwards comes in motion. Play fake though, and Navarre's coming up firing. And he's got Askew out of the backfield, but Reynolds rustles him down. Quarterback's left. Navarre's looking for Edwards too. Got him. In underneath for the first down. Out of bounds. They get one on one if they want it. It'll be Perry to run. Slips the first tackle. Wilhelm does not let him by. Bot comes in motion. Navarre, though, will run the one back Askew. And the Bucks read it well. As a junior, he rushed for 111 yards. And uh, I'm sure he's watching now. The linesman throws the flag. Eyes for 60 yards. And Michigan won again, 38-26. Here's the third down now from just across midfield for Michigan. They need to get to the 30. Seven yard line for a first down. The fire high incomplete. Getting the ball to where they did has a chance now to establish good field position from which to defend it. Gamble will try to get the Bucks out of trouble, but he does not. Claret on the field. Got a nice block to the 15 yard line. But it is Michigan that has dominated this rivalry so far here today. Corrette, 12 carries for 95 yards. But the most important number belongs to Michigan. They lead the Bucks 9-7. Back after this message, the word from our ABC stations. Over 105,000 in here. The Bucks with a second down. And their freshman Corrette breaks the daylight. Jackson wrestles him down, but... Joe is the fullback for him. And here's Claret. Slips inside the linebacker in three out of every four. Living and dying with the Buckeyes. Pinchel is sacked. Hobson is in there. And this one is a toughie again. They need 15 on this one. Pinchel's firing for it, and he's got it. Got it at the 42. Again, spins away from the from Hobson. You just cannot medical school already. Craig will go that way if he doesn't get a shot. Pro football someday. On the move, McClintock chasing him, and so he elects to fire this one. Back open early, but he was late turning around and faking, and he did not. Vance coming in motion from the top of your screen. Prince will make get him underneath, and he does. He has him. Vance spins free. And then it is stopped. Fakes the run, steps away, and throws high for Ohio State and Michigan right here. This has field position written all over it. Curry from the 10. Will look to get Michigan out of the hole, and he is down at the 16 yard line. Play fake by Navarre. He's going to throw it on first down as two ball comes loose. Reynolds has got it. It's incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. And here comes Perry. And Grant makes the stop. Bogard the ball loose. Of course, he isn't even credited with that one. It's an incomplete pass on the slant. Michigan keeps the football for the Buckeyes. Have another first down and 10. Perry, though, is hit for a loss by Kenny Peterson. The gamble shows bump and run this time on Edwards off to the left. Reynolds tries to get on the blitz. Come back the other way. High. Navarre trying to get more. Comes back middle through behind the receiver. Doss backs off. They set the return. And gamble. There, they didn't give him the halo. That's a 10 yards. So they'll mark the yardage off. This will be first down. Play fake, they're gonna throw on first down. Prenzel, underneath hit his pullback to the 42 yard line. First down and 10. Schnitker now, the H-back look. 
Play fake again, and Krenzel going to try to run out of trouble. He crosses the 40. Now it's Claret. No hole as Hobson. With an empty backfield, there's five receivers for Krenzel. Steps away from trouble. Now he'll run, dive to the close to that marker. Goal line look here for the Wolverines. Claret there, Krenzel behind the left side, got the first down. Takes the handoff, Krenzel's going to throw a first down. Got a man wide open, it's Claret. Out of bounds at the six-yard line. Maurice Claret, who is an outstanding pass receiver. Michigan digs in for a play defensively. Claret bounces. Stopped at about the four-yard line. Second down at the Wolverine four. Powers to the left side of the formation, but now they age back. Yes, they'll turn Hartsock back around. And they'll go to the weak side. Easy. They're walking. Touchdown. They ran away from the strength of the formation that time. And Maurice Hall strolls into the end zone. Now we know why Torrent wasn't in there. This play has been practiced and circled for Maurice Hall. How about those two calls by Jim Tressel? Bench. Using different personnel, Nugent adds the extra point. He scored the winner a week ago in overtime. Tressel leads Michigan 14-9. Timeout. Coming out on the 20-yard line, number 16, John Navar, definitely under the gun right now. Short drop. Incomplete as his receiver went down. Bellum. Here comes Perry. They don't give up on the run, but it'll be third down. Incomplete. And Fox was riding the receiver, and there's a penalty flag thrown by the linesman. Rush, three up front, and Will Smith came in real late. First down after the 15-yard penalty. Navarre to throw on first down, incomplete. He'll move into the DOS spot in all likelihood. Navarre goes back again, fires, and receiver was down on the catch, facing the third down. Short drop, firing, deflection, incomplete. It's fourth down. Hold it. There's a penalty flag. It's going to be a tip ball, though, Brandon. They're going to pick the flag up. There's no foul in the play. The forward pass was tipped by a defensive lineman. Need four. They've got it. Out of bounds. Navarre to put it up on first down. Goes down to Bellamy high, and it's second down and 10. Wolverines with three wide receivers. They run the draw play. Askew, across. but the Wolverines are alive. Edwards is the motion receiver. Navarre getting great time, hits Edwards again. And he's wrestled down at Askew, the running back. Navarre getting great time from the picked up finally by the Buckeyes. Finally, the ball was rolling around. La Fatina's there. First down. Buckeyes. The Buckeyes on the game's first turnover recover the Navarre fumble. And, and now the Buckeyes are two minutes from Arizona. Michigan only has one timeout. Here comes Claret. The next two minutes run off the clock. Claret ducking and diving, but not many, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth down, and here comes the punt. Michigan coming after it, but Groom slams it out of there. Curry on one hop. Gamble can't bring him down. Reynolds is right there, and he's out of bounds. Navarre. In 
incomplete. Now, if he got a computer, never miss a score. Here comes Navarre, down, firing, incomplete. And the clock cannot move fast enough for Jim Trussell and the Buckeyes. Incomplete. And Will Allen. And this would be the first appearance for the Big Ten. Navarre fires. And Wilhelm rides the receiver down, but they'll stop the clock. Navarre has been getting tremendous protection, too, against this three-man rush. On the move, fires back across the green. And Navarre steps up, fires, complete again. This time to Bellamy to the Wolverines at the uh, 45. Navarre. And that time, Gamble broke it up, but he interfered. This. This is an easy play, but he puts his arm in the back of the receiver. An easy call, pass interference. Doss got away with one early, but you're not going to get away with two. The protective pocket fires, diving catch. They're inside the 25 again. They'll spike it. Michigan must throw at least for a first down or the end zone. Navarre. Hit on the release, does get it, it's out of the end zone. He, the ball will be in Navarre's hands one last time. Fires in zone, intercepted. Let's party, Columbus. Their 29th Big Ten Championship, and it is huge as Maurice Claret. Jim Trussell and the Buckeyes were ahead to Arizona where they'll play for all the Tostitos in the Fiesta Bowl on January 3rd. For the first time in history, 13-0, the Buckeyes. I guess that's the pre-bet defense to the limit right there, huh? <laughs> oh, my. And that is the epitome of bend and don't break. The senior producer of ABC Sports is Bob Toms. The coordinating producer and the producer of today's game is Bob Goodrich. It was directed by Larry Cam. The associate producer is Drew Kaliski. The associate director, Brian Fay. Our technical director is Monty Poling. The production manager, Christy Bravey. Technical manager, Mark Towey. Production assistants, the Red Fox and the Sun Devil. The director of production is Mark Loomis. For Jack Aroot and Gary Danielson, I'm Brett Musburger. So long, everybody.